Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm in the park, which is rare because I never really leave my house these days, but it's such a sunny day. It is currently Saturday the 8th of August and it is half two. So because I don't really leave my house, I don't really get to experience the sun a lot, but also I don't get to experience the sun a lot because there's never any sun in Derry. So I know a lot of these people say, oh my God, Adam, you must stay inside all the time. I stay inside all the time because we get the worst weather possible. And there are so many families and people in the park today, which is so wild because I've been so used to coming to the park whenever there hasn't been that many people here. So this is definitely new. There's a lot of dogs about, which I love. I love seeing people with their dogs because I think with dogs, you can very much so tell the personality of the owner by the breed of dog. No, does anyone else agree with me? Like I've seen a lot of chihuahuas today and I've seen some Cocker Spaniels. I've seen some Labrador doors I've seen some huskies and I think with that it links up the personality of the owner but anyway because it is such a nice day today like look at this like I have all the little flowers and stuff like that so sweet I thought I may as well talk about summer and summer 2020 and the past summers I've had because I kind of want to get nostalgic because I love the sun and I'm so happy that you know the sun is out today and I'm so desperate to get to a sunny place and a summer holiday this year but I don't really think it's gonna work just with the current climate of things, I do not think that's on the tables, but hopefully next year and hopefully even if the start of next year, like these European countries, hopefully they will be a lot more safe and maybe I can start looking into stuff, but I really wish I could have done something this summer. But yeah, it's looking like that is not gonna happen at all, which is not the best. So I thought what I would do is I would go back and talk about the summers that I've had and what I've done during those summers. So this summer, I've done nothing. Summer 2020, nothing has happened. I've barely seen my friends. While our guidelines in Derry are a lot better than other places, I'm still not going out and seeing my friends as much as other people are from here just because I don't really care to. Like, I would rather just continue following guidelines. I actually went out to dinner with my friend Caitlin yesterday and we went to a restaurant called The Magnet and it was really good. It was in Colmore and I used to live in Colmore and I have such good memories attached with there. And so if you wanna know, I got a spaghetti carbonara with nachos to start and a strawberry daiquiri and a Coke. So two days ago, we were in Belfast and it was my first time doing like, shopping in a while. I think my first time this year properly going out somewhere and shopping because obviously shopping centers have been closed. So we went to Victoria Square in Belfast and I got my Apple Watch and I got my mom a Michael Kors bag, which was such an exciting moment because my mom was so happy and it was so exciting and we didn't plan it. We literally, Michael Kors was a store that was there and I was like, you want a bag? Let's go in. We were looking in the guest shop first and she was like, oh my God, like I'll love one of these bags. And then I was like, why go for one of these? And we can go for Michael Kors. So I bought her that bag and it was so official. It was my first time ever buying like a proper brand thing like that and you had to fill like paperwork and stuff it was so wild but whenever we walked into the store we were just wearing like our normal clothes i think i was wearing crew neck and trousers or something like that we weren't like dressed fancy or whatever so we walked into the shop and i was looking around at all the different bags and my mom was looking at them and the workers were being really suspicious of us and they were being so snobby to us and i literally went hi how much is this bag and later found out that you don't ask how much a bag is in like a store like that because then they're like oh you can't afford it apparently they have the mentality that if you have the money you won't ask for the price which is dumb because even if i had all the money in the world i would still ask for a price i'm not reckless with any money i have and so that's dumb but so whenever i asked for the price she didn't take me seriously at all and she was like yeah like we prefer if you didn't hold and touch the products if you're not gonna buy them and so then i asked for a price on a bag that my mom liked and she said the price and then kind of said it in like a snooty way and kind of went and then like handed it over and then went to put it on the shelf again and i went i'll take it and then there wasn't even any oh sorry okay it was just kind of like girl i'm literally buying stock and it's kind of like in those designer places i don't think they make that many purchases a day especially if they're from like belfast or something because people don't go oh i'm gonna go to michael kors today i'm gonna go to gucci today no you go i'm gonna go to premark today or well that's what i do if you don't know what premark is it's kind of like cheaper clothing and so yeah if i was going into town i'd be like yeah i can't wait to go to premark i can't wait to go to whatever other shop even like h&m hollister rather than mm, i can't wait to go to michael kors I can't wait to go to louis vuitton i can't wait to go to gucci so for somewhere that i don't think personally makes a lot of sales a day they were so snooty and it was so wild and so after i bought it she was kind of like okay i was like oh my god girl smile please so let's talk about summer now so this summer again done nothing 
I kind of just worked all summer. Summer 2019 was really fun. Me and my friends went out like every single day. What we would do would be, we would go out during the day. So we would wake up around 2 p.m. and then we would start our day around half three and we would go and do something in the daytime and then we would all like leave for a bit and we would all meet up again in someone's house at like 7 p.m. and then we would go for a night out. And this was literally every night that we did this during summer 2019 and it was so fun. And it was also GCSE results back in 2019. So we were all anticipating getting our big exam results as well. So it was kind of stressful. And summer 2019 was whenever I actually did my exams as well. We did them at the start of summer. So 2019 was stressful and fun. 2018, I didn't really do anything during the summer except for go to the Britney Spears concert. Summer 2017 though, we went to Salou and it was really fun. The place we stayed in Spain of Salou was really central and we were near everything. We went to Barcelona as well. We went to the aquarium and it was just really fun, great time. Summer 2017 was also when I spent a lot of time with my guinea pigs I had back then and I loved them and I had so much fun summer 2017. I was kind of going through it though, like mentally for no reason at all. It was just like peak puberty as I've talked about this before. So I was really mentally like not in a good place. So I can't wait to go back to places like Salou where we went to Salou whenever we were young kids. So we have like emotional attachments to a lot of the places that we go. We're a very nostalgic family. And so I didn't fully get to enjoy it because I was in like a weird state of mind and I didn't know why I was in this because I wasn't feeling sad or anything. It was just like, there was nothing to trigger it, but it was just because I was going through puberty, but I really didn't understand it. Summer 2016, we went to Spain as well. And we stayed in this big apartment block. It was called Bellevue Hotel. Now, the staff didn't care and everyone that worked there did not care about anyone who came and stayed and they treated us really badly. My parents did not like where we stayed. I really enjoyed it because it was like a little city within this hotel. If I'm trying to explain it to you, like you went into these apartment blocks and it was literally like a town. They had shops, they had stalls, they had their pills, they had the apartment blocks, they had actual residents living in there too. They had go-kart sections, they had cinemas. It was amazing and I loved it and I think it would be so fun to go back there now because I'm like vlogging and stuff like that. Back then I was vlogging too, but whenever I go somewhere, and I'm not feeling comfortable, I don't go, oh, I'm gonna make a half-assed vlog. If I'm not comfortable, I just don't film at all. So I didn't film much. I made a lot of Snapchats, so I could probably do a vlog with all the Snapchats. Summer 2015, we went to Spain as well. We went to a place called the H10 Mediterranean Village, and it was the nicest, most family-friendly place ever. And we actually visited there whenever we were in 2017 holiday. We went back there because it was only like a bus journey away. And it was so nice and even going back there in 2017 was super nostalgic. And I wanted to cry for some reason because it just brought me back to being, what age was I back then? Like 13 or something? So summer 2015 was really nice as well. Summer 2013 and 14, we went to Dublin, lower part of Ireland. And that was really fun as well because I really enjoyed, I really, really, really going to like cities and funding places in Ireland as well. And I would love to go back to Dublin soon again. I'm gonna make that a priority actually. So I really enjoyed that. We went to a lot of different history stuff because my family are really into history stuff. The older I get, the more I care about history. But whenever I was studying history in secondary school, I really didn't give a shit about it. I was like, why am I learning this? Why am I being forced to learn it? Because I'm super annoying. If I'm forced to learn something, I don't want to learn it. So that's why I was just being petty back then. But I actually really enjoy history now, so I think I would enjoy that a lot now. Back then as well, we went to London for summer and it was our first time as a family. And I think my first time ever going to London and we went to the Wax Museum and a bunch of history things there as well. And London was so beautiful and it was so busy. And it was really sunny when we were there and I've actually vlogged that entire trip and it's on my channel. I think it's on private though. Those vlogs are so funny and so cringy. I had just bought my new camera for that trip and I was zooming in on everything. I was making really cringy edits and you know, it's a very, it's a product of its time, but I really enjoyed those vlogs as well. And every year before that, we kind of went to Spain or something like that and I don't really have the best memory of it. I have a pretty shit memory as it is. I remember things in the moment. <laughs> I remember certain parts from each different holiday and I really enjoyed them as well. And it's a really funny thing because recently I've started going to an airport and just different airports for my own accord and my own travel and traveling with my friends and stuff. But the only time I would ever go to an airport was with my family going on a family holiday. So I've been accustomed to link going to an airport with going once a year with my family and really just cherishing those family memories. So whenever I went to London with the BFI Academy with my friend Caitlin, um, this year we went to the same airport that me and my family always use for holidays and it was so boring and I realized how dull and awful that airport is and how it has nothing. And I have such an expectation with that airport for the main reason that I associate it with going on family holidays and the excitement of that. And so whenever you're there and you're like waiting three hours for your delayed flight to London, it's not a pretty... Mm -mm. Also in London, I've been to a bunch of different airports, but one of the main ones I went to when we were this year, 
Isn't it so weird that that was my only time actually doing something this year? Sorry, I was just responding to a text. So whenever I was in London earlier this year, we were at Luton Airport. Now, Luton Airport, I had heard really bad things about, but I didn't really believe it because I really have a high expectation with a lot of airports I go to because I just associate them with nostalgic things and going somewhere and the excitement. So whenever I heard that Luton Airport in London had a really bad rep and review, I was kind of like, Mm, I think people are just being negative and then I went and I was like this is really nice like it's really modern It's really clean. They have a bunch of new shops. It's really cool And then I realized how bad it was because maybe like five minutes before our flight was supposed to take off going into Belfast The gate had not shown up and we were like, oh, maybe the flights delayed and this Luton Airport in London is huge. And so basically, four minutes, three minutes, and literally two minutes until our flight, the gate comes up and it says, people for this flight, go to gate whatever. And now we were like, oh shit, where's that gate? We need to start running because we thought it would be close. No, it was actually like down four tunnels. So you had to run through them and it said on it, uh, 20 minutes and it was like a picture of someone running like that me and Caitlin were like Maybe it's a 20 minute walk and we'll just run there and we'll get there quicker No, it was a 20 minute run to this thing. So we were like, oh fuck So we had to run through this long ass airport. We realized how dirty it was when doing that We were running through this trying to get to our gate and we finally got to our gate and We were like we've missed it Like there's no one around here at our gate and then we like looked down and we heard like a lot of noise and We went down and it was these huge queues of people who were waiting for the same flight we were and it wasn't even delayed, it was just late. Which was so weird because they didn't even say that it was delayed or whatever like that. And literally our flight took off an hour after it was supposed to but it still didn't give any late or delayed or whatever like that. And they literally queued us inside this small ass room and people were so angry that the fact whenever the flight attendants opened the door to go out onto the ground to go up on the plane, people literally started clapping and being like, way, you know, true Irish mentality. But then I realized how bad the airport was. Like there was also like a Dunkin' Donuts, I think at Luton Airport. And I've never tried that before. There's a lot of different American things like in and out People are like, oh my God, do you like in and out I'm like, bitch, I've never tried that. Taco Bell, never tried that. So whenever I was like Dunkin' Donuts, I was like, oh my God, this is gonna be so good. I got a donut, I got the coffee and it wasn't good. Neither of them were good. And so maybe it was just because I was like having a shitty time at that airport anyway. I literally thought something bad was going to happen with our plane. I was so, so scared. I was all to Caitlin. I must have freaked her out. I was like, Caitlin, something bad is going to happen when we're on this flight. And she went, what the fuck? And I went, no, I don't know. I'm just like, I really bad thought about it. I was really stressed. And sometimes if I get really stressed in certain situations, it's really bad for me. And if I get really bad anxiety about it. But I got really bad anxiety at this airport. And I was like... Oh God, and because I wasn't with my family or I wasn't with anyone except for Caitlin, I was getting really stressed. And then I was stressing Caitlin out in the process, so sorry Caitlin for that. But they're my memories of summer. Like a lot of people as well, if they go to Spain or something, this is a very UK, Ireland thing to go to Spain. Because I've learned that Americans don't leave America for summer holidays. Apparently they just go to different states. And I never thought about that. Like y'all have 50 states to go around, so you know, do what you want. But a lot of people who go to Spain for holidays as well will get villas, which means you basically rent an Airbnb. Our family has always done apartments and getting a room in a hotel or something like that because we enjoy being with other families and, you know, making friends and doing bingo with different, like, chaotic ass families. And so that's always been our style of holiday. What is your style of holiday? Like, I know a lot of Americans watch my videos. Is it going to another state? Is it maybe going on a road trip? Do you just prefer staying in? And to the people who are, like, European on here, where do you like going? Like, I love hearing different people's experiences of summer holidays and what their ideal summer is. Like, what is your ideal activity to do during summer? I love having a pool and I love being in the sun and then being like, you know what? I've had enough of the sun. I'm going to go in the pool or I'm going to go inside. And if you go inside the hotels, they're normally really cold because of the air condition and it's the nicest ever change. Oh, and one summer that I also loved was we went to Turkey back in 2012 and it was this like bougie ass hotel and it was so, so, so nice. They had like the wildest entertainment ever and it was so nice. And I really loved that holiday so much. And Turkey was such a beautiful country with the most kind people. And we went on this activity, which was a water activity. That's literally what it was branded as. And the final destination was you went to this like ice pool and this like really tropical place. But in the process, they drove you in these like trucks and you were going through like mud and you were getting water thrown at you and the locals were throwing water at you and doing like water pistols at you. And it was so, so sweet and it was so nice. And it was seeing these kids so excited to take part in like the tourism and stuff. And it was really, really cute. And then 
the trucks would stop at locals house and you would go in and you would pay them and they would make you like authentic tea that they had there like the cold tea and it was so nice and i loved learning about their culture and the people were just so so kind so i would love to go back and visit turkey um, i really want that to be a priority as well because the people treated us really really kind oh i'm just loving the sun it's so rare that we have the sun here in Derry. like y'all don't understand how lucky you are if you get sun like we get rain every day and i know a lot of people are like oh my god i love rain like rain is so nice and while you think it's nice having it every single day like thunderstorms that are like affecting your wi-fi and everything like it's not nice so having the sun even for probably what's going to be a day i'm actually going to check the weather app we just appreciate it like everyone in Derry gets out and I love how everyone is still social distancing and our guidelines are completely more or less relaxed now and people are still abiding by it because you know what? We may as well. Yeah, so it's meant to be raining again tomorrow. Today's the only day of sunny weather for the next two weeks. Like this is why we appreciate it. And this is why I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get myself out and I'm gonna film a video outside because why not? I wanna experience this and I wanna be in the sun and it's just nice and it's weird feeling the sun on my skin because this doesn't happen. So yeah, I'm longing to go somewhere with sun. I just want to travel. Do y'all love traveling or do you not? I know a lot of people don't like traveling. I know a lot of people like staying home and being comforted by their own city, town, and don't like exploring that. So up here, there's like a kids club or something going on. Oh my God, when we were on holidays as well, I would always go to the kids club and the kids club were basically where all the families would send their kids and they would do fun activities hosted by the reps at that place. And they always used to do chocolate parties, which would be, they would throw chocolate on you and you would have water pistols filled with chocolate and you were supposed to spray them at people, but I would do it in my mouth and spray it. So like, I think that was a pretty smart move, honestly. And I would stand under the fountain of chocolate, which you were supposed to, you know, gather your resources and throw it at people and I would just drink it. It was a very healthy kid. But what I was going to say was there's kids club up here. And they're doing egg and spoon race, which is where you have a spoon, you have an egg in it, and you're like walking and trying to get to the first of the finish line without your egg falling over and cracking. And so in primary school, we used to have sports day every single year. And that was my favorite day ever. I loved sports day. I don't know if Americans did this or other people in from different countries, but definitely in UK and Ireland, we have this where we do sports day in the primary school kids, even in secondary school. And you do different running events, you do different sporting events, but there's also really fun ones where egg and spoon race and um, where you're in the potato sack and you're jumping, like, what's that called? I don't know, but you're jumping to get to the finish line. Tug of war, there's so many ones, and so I really loved sports day, so I'm seeing all these kids and they're so happy, and I'm so excited that, while I don't know if it's really that safe for, like, groups of kids to be getting together, I mean, our regulations are different, so maybe it is, I haven't been keeping up properly. But seeing them really happy is making me happy that they can have some sort of nice memory of summer, because if you think about it, right now, summer's almost over like it's august 8th next week secondary school will start going back to school that's it that's summer i don't know about you but it still feels like march to me it still feels like march and i don't like that at all because 2020 we went into this year and we were like oh my god this is gonna be our year this is gonna be the world's year 2020 like new digits like this is gonna be so exciting like more so than any other year and i think we might have set ourselves up for failure but if you think about it March was when it took a really bad turn, but even from January, it was not the best. So this year has been awful, and I think everyone is gonna look back on this year like, uh. But I hope you have at least some sort of happy memory. My happy memory is my channel growing and being able to meet this new audience, and thank you for that. So I'm gonna pose the question to you if you've watched this far. What is your happy memory of this year, of 2020? What has been one happy thing that's happened to you this year? I hope there's been something. I assume there's been something, but I won't assume, I hope. And if you can't think of anything right now, I'm putting it out in there that it's gonna happen for you. Cause that's what you deserve. Okay, they're literally teasing me. What the hell? That's where I wanna be. Hi everyone, so I'm back now. I just love my Miley Cyrus t-shirt so, so, so much. So I just wanted to say something, right? So taking days like what I just did is so necessary and I hope you are too and I say all the time and I tweet and I'm like I hope you're drinking water I hope you're drinking green tea I hope you're taking moments of you know just thinking about yourself and you know allowing yourself to have that time and I really do mean it and I hope if you're listening and you've listened this far thank you so much by the way I just want to know or I mean I just want you to know that it's okay to take days off and it's okay to think and it's okay to be like you know, and taking yourself away from situations and being like, I'm going to process this. I'm going to think about this a little bit before I work on it. And then I'm going to go 
hang out with myself and even taking yourself on like little dates with yourself. I've always had conversations with my friends where I've been like, oh, I love taking myself out for dates and they've always been like, that's narcissistic. <laughs> and I don't see it as that at all. I literally think it's very important to take yourself out on dates, take yourself out to dinner, to lunch, to walks, to just clearing your head and doing things for you. And it doesn't always have to be, oh, a date with this person, a date with that person, friend, girlfriend, boyfriend, anyone. It doesn't have to be that. It can literally just be you. Like, why isn't it normalized to take time for you? Why isn't it normalized to do nice things for you? Why isn't it normalized to buy that thing that you've always wanted instead of buying something for maybe someone else, like jumping always for them? Like, it's okay to prioritize yourself. And that doesn't have to be a narcissistic thing. And I don't think people talk about this because people are scared that they will come across as a narcissist. And honestly, I don't care about speaking up about this because I don't care how people view me. But I just want you to know that prioritize yourself do something nice for you so if you're listening to this now i am posting this on a saturday between now and next saturday please do something that is just for you taking yourself out on a date buying yourself something going to your favorite coffee shop getting your favorite coffee getting your favorite drink getting your favorite snack like do something for you and please come back and comment on this video and say hey adam i listened to you and i did this for me and say whatever it was and i will read through them because i'm genuinely curious and i genuinely want to push you to be like do something for you Look out for you and treat yourself because 2020 has been a rough year for all of us and I think we all deserve that little treat. So just taking yourself out and prioritizing yourself. So be your own boo. Okay? I love you. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'm so happy with the nice weather. I love you. I hope you've been having a good Saturday. I hope you're having a great week, a great weekend. And peace. Bye-bye. I also got Mario Badescu Lavender Face Spray and I had it literally years ago. And I'm so happy that I have it again. So my life has been good ever since that. So just a little update.